There are three particular things, just three things, that I think that every young person will struggle with in life. Three things. Number one, money. The love of money. That's why people will sell. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I feel like it has come down now, Sha. But those days, people used to use their parents to do money. They still do it. They still do it. So it's pants they use now. <laughs> they would do, literally do anything for money. People would do anything to make it. And that includes sleeping around. It includes joining cults. It includes doing literally anything to make it. The second thing is sex. That's the second thing a young person will struggle with. The first thing is money, love of money. Second thing is sex. The third thing is power and influence. That wanting to be known. That if you post something on, on social media, you have not even posted it, you are waiting to see how many people have liked it. As in, as if your soul is connected to the post. If it doesn't get likes, if you don't get, if I put a post, you are, you are checking, you are checking. If you're checking like that, you're addicted to power and influence. And it's something that you need to work on. So these three things, God was saying to me, these are the three things that you must control. If not, you are not going to live a successful life here and cross over to the other side well. So you're going to have to control those three things. How do you control those things? Number one, authenticity. Be true to who you are. Like I said, I'm not even sure I came here to break any tables. I just came to talk like a mother to her children. Authenticity. Be true to who you are. Don't follow everything that other people are doing. Just because it's raining does not mean it's raining for you. I remember when skinny jeans first came out. Hey, as the name implies, skinny jeans. You will now see somebody whose one leg it's like all the legs of all the women in my family put together. They will not say they are wearing skinny jeans. It ceases to be skinny jeans if you are not skinny. And they will now wear it. And then they will now wear crop top. Hansy. Your tummy is not really the type that they made it for. Do you understand? It's not really you they were thinking when they were designing the cloth. You, your type is, is boo-boo like this. Like us, that we respect ourselves. And then, unfortunately for you, all your wicked friends, and I always say it, for you to successfully fail, you must have stupid friends. All your stupid friends will not be putting fire. That fire emoji is the biggest problem in this life. You will not snap yourself looking like a fat fool. They saw you coming from home. In fact, they were telling you, pose. And then they will be kneeling down to help you take the picture. <laughs> wickedness. Depths of wickedness. And you know, when you were looking at it, the thing, something was telling you. The spirit of God was saying, my child, my child, don't disgrace yourself like this. Go and wear bootleg or just wear trouser. My child. But you say, no, your friends are saying, what? Kai! Lit! Yes, smoke. They will not come and touch you. Ash. And you know, because you hear God, you know that the cloth does not fit you. But because everybody is doing it, you now follow them and do it. And they are wicked. It fits them. It does not fit you. And because they are wicked, they know that the uglier people are around them, the finer you look. So they need to gather more ugly people around them so that they can look hot. So they'll be encouraging you with nonsense. They will not take picture and they will not be putting fire for you there. Let, let. Matthew, you are not little. Except the lit they are talking about is literary works. You are not lit. Go home and tie a round bubba like your mates. Do what they made for you. Be authentic. You know that your father is managing to send you to school. It's not the way he's doing them that is doing you. You know how your village gathered money. They did village meeting, put you in the middle and told you, remember the child of who you are. As your father was saying, remember the child of who you are. Your uncle shouted for No, the child of who you are. We are many that gathered money. I borrowed money from Papa and Kechi. I borrowed money from... They've told you your life history, how they gathered money to send you to school. You now go to school. 
Your friends now say that they have one party they want to go for. And that they, they, they all want to wear, what's that thing? They want to twin. I don't know how five people are twinning. Twin is not two. They will not say, we are all twinning. <laughs> God. God will help me and people today. People will not be angry. Anything I say, I'm just saying. After that, we'll say to apologize. It's all right. They will not say, we are all twinning. And they want to twin. They will not buy jeans of two five. They will buy 15K jeans. And that your 15K. You know that when your father was bringing it out, they did village meeting on your head. But because you want to feel among, because you want to be a part of what everybody is doing, then you forget where you're coming from. They gave you money for school fees. You now use it to buy clothes because you would rather look cool in school and oh. Some of the stupid things I hear when people send me, in fact, these days I don't answer DM. If you send me DM, you're wasting your time. Because the things inside my DM used to depress me. Somebody will send me a message. And I'm wondering, but you can't, re you can't really have been created stupid like this. It's not possible. It's that you, you decided. As in the way the, no. You will not send me a message that there's this boy. When they start with that, there's this boy. My heart will just fall to my leg. That there's this boy. I really like him. I give him my money. I cook for him. I do this. I do that. They talk. And all his friends call me our wife. All his friends say they, that he likes me. But I think maybe he's too shy to talk to me. He's, not, he's too shy to talk to you, but he's not too shy to eat your food. He's not too shy to collect your money. And it's his friends. His, fr his friends. <laughs> I'm really not going to go there today. Be authentic. You are nobody's wife. You are <laughs> when, when they call you our wife, it means you belong to nobody. You know, Buari now, I belong to everybody and to nobody. I can't you see it today. They shot people, did he talk? Because he belongs to everybody and nobody. So you are our wife. They will come and be ordering. Ah, I think he wants to eat spaghetti bolognese. You till you run to the market. Ah, is there for road that is doing him today? You till you run. Ah, that your fried rice is bad, oh. Hey. In fact, it's mad, oh. You two, you go and cook it and bring it and serve. And the guy is just like, and he say, I think he's too shy. And they'll be asking me stupid questions, as if I'm there in the university with them. Like, I will now say, what do your parents do? And my parents are in the village. Your parents are in the village, suffering to send you money to cook for boy. So when, they were, when you were writing your list, that miscellaneous, shall we do people who still write miscellaneous? Uh-uh. That's the still the rain after many years where I go to school. So you write your list, write everything, school, everything, uh, school fees, write provision, everything, and write miscellaneous. So that miscellaneous you wrote is for a boyfriend. <laughs> be authentic. You have to know who you are, who God created you to be. Can I talk to the ladies for a few minutes? Ladies, if you understand the virtue that you carry, you see when that scripture says that a virtuous woman who can find, it's not talking about a married woman. Virtuous does not, it's because you, I don't know if you, if you were like me growing up, I heard that, I almost started thinking that virtuous means married. So everywhere you go, virtuous women praying to a society, virtuous married, you just assume. No, that word virtue talks about a strong woman, strong, dependable, with moral character, wise, industrious, that, that fears the Lord. And so that virtue is a powerful force that can create, that has restorative power, that has healing power, and has power to change things. That power that is in you, that makes you a virtuous woman, is the same power that Jesus was carrying, and as he was walking, somebody touched him and got healed. See, when virtue leaves you, hmm, I, don't, I don't think you know, but let me tell you this. When, I, don't know, I, mean, I don't know if it's everybody, Sha. But when a girl has started having sex, hmm? especially outside marriage, I can't tell. It's like clothes that they wash. Yeah? When you carry clothes and you're washing it, you know, you will know cloth that is brand new and you know cloth that they washed. That's how it is. But you can't tell because you are the clothes they are washing. Mm. I want it to sink in. 
You carry virtue. Every time a guy takes from you, whether sexually or emotionally, he's taking virtue. He's taking the, the, the virtue that you can use to make a man a king. If you know what you carry, you will carry it with pride. And you will care about who takes from you. Not everyone should plug into you. So it's not just, and you, you think you are ordinary. You don't know what you carry. The name, yeah, the word that was used when God said, let us make a helper that is comparable, a help meet. That word is Isa. It's the same word in Ebenezer. The Isa that we call God my helper. That is the same thing. That's what it describes the Holy Spirit. That's what you are. A human version. So God now says, oh, this is my son, Kingsley. Where I want him to go, he needs a helper. He needs a comforter. He needs one who is called alongside to help him. I now say, mm. Mildred, come. Go and marry Kingsley. And then I enter into his life. And the Bible says that a virtuous woman is a crown unto her husband. Which means that I carry king-making anointing. And so when I entered into his life, when I met Pastor, okay, do you have anything? No. In fact, he was limited at that time. 5K. If Pastor K is doing you 5K. Eh. You need your faith, oh. You need your faith to join with our own to produce that 5K. And you know, sometimes when we say these things, people think we're just saying it. There were times when we did not have toothpaste in our house. My husband was on TV, oh. <laughs> but I knew, like I knew my name, that it was only a matter of time because of what I carry. So you can't carry this grace and this anointing, this kingmaker's anointing, and a boy will be treating you anyhow. He will say, I don't like you. He will be crying. Crying why exactly? Why exactly are you crying? Because he that finds a wife, finds a good thing and obtains favor. You are the favor carrier. If he doesn't find you, he doesn't find favor. So who should be crying? Him. Who should be posing? You. So he says he's not interested. <laughs> Thank God. Akukuma. <laughs> see, see where they won't help. You see, I'm not, I don't know. I'm not really feeling this. You say that, exactly. And I'm not about to waste my time. So I have people that need, to, people that need what I carry. You carry a while they go. What do they cry? What do they cry? What do they cry? Hey. You carry yourself and your virtue intact. The only reason why you are crying is because the virtue has reduced. You are not even sure whether it's remaining for the real person they sent you to. Yes. That's why you are crying. If he dated you, you did not spend your money. You did not spend your brain. You did not sleep with him. If you say he's going, what will you do? Bye-bye. And please, don't let the door hit you on your way out. What's that? That's why you're crying. So carry yourself with confidence. And the reason why I'm talking to the ladies is because ladies are the, the easiest to sway. Men are not externally motivated. If guy no one do something, don't go drown. All those, uh, he has bad friends, it's a lie. A guy will not follow bad friends if he does not want to follow bad friends. It's only girls that are externally motivated. How do I know? If you don't like a guy, you see a guy, you say he's ugly. If the guy buy your iPhone today, tomorrow he'll call you on your birthday. He's the first person that calls you in the morning. He says, I just wanted to pray with you this morning. I know nothing. He would just be treating you as if my baby sister, my baby. That's how he'll be telling you small because he knows that if he even comes with the leg of, the way you they sharpen your cutlass to give him, eh? If he comes with the leg of, I like you, you know you're going to deal with him. So he'll just be, he'll call you in the morning. I just said I should check up on you. He'll call you later in the day. How, how are you doing? Are you, do, are you doing okay? you say, yes. I'm kind of busy. he say, no, no, that's fine. I just want to check up on you. It's no big deal. He'll call you in the night. Are you okay? Are you fine? Are you doing okay? Um, I don't know. I just had some loose cash. I just thought maybe I should send it to you. I don't know how you're doing. I just said I should send it to you. Before I talk, finish, Allah, don't enter your phone. He does this thing consistently. Your friends who are in the room, it's their birthday. He's the first to call them. G big gift will land for your friends because he knows that they are the ones that will vote when you are confused. <laughs> because, because confusion is coming. And he will be doing all these things, doing all these things, and he will be active in fellowship. 
And all the other girls are saying, oh my God, do you hear him? He can't sing. Hey, God. Are you seeing his hair? His hair, gold. Hey. And you are thinking all these things. I not come call anybody's name. So if by any chance, over here, you hear your name, I wasn't really. And you are all those things. You are hearing people praising him. And he's liking you, but you are not really, you're not really feeling him. Then on your birthday, early in the morning, every hour on the hour, a gift is coming. And your roommates are coming. <laughs> Another one has come. Oh. Another one has come. Oh. Ah, this guy, they try, shout. <laughs> And then the guy will now call your roommates. Are you guys doing okay? I just want to send some snacks for you guys. Just to, no, it's not really for her birthday. It's just for you guys. Because I know you guys are doing a lot. All the stuff I'm sending to the room. I know it's a lot of stress on you guys. I hope the space is okay. Or do I want to take you guys into a hotel tonight? Then you now say I'm confused. They will now be telling you, are you, are you cursed? Do they really swear for you? Don't you want to relax and be taken care of? What's the problem? As this boy is liking you, don't you, what? He's short. Who told you he's short? Money can make a man tall. <laughs> they will tell you all kinds of things that will confuse you. That's why I insist that as a woman, you must know who you are. Because if not, this world will confuse you. Guy, you they even talk, say, the girl love you, wait, see, make sure they bring the money, we're going to chop him. A man only marries who he wants to marry. A woman marries who wants to marry her. So that's why men are not in a hurry. You can date a guy 15 years. Baby, what are we doing? As how? <laughs> where are we going? <laughs> where are we going with this? I don't know. Where where we we'll finish? <laughs> and you'll be saying all those things, and he will be doing you like doing you like this. Then you just say you are done. You leave. Two years later, the guy don't hammer. He will just look around him and just see one fine girl and just carry and marry. And you, you've been there, you wash clothes. You, <laughs> you sweep house. You even go in mama's house, go cook. They did, his sister did wedding. You went to market to do souvenir, buy a shwebi. Want to kill yourself. Your body's paining you. They say, are you okay? You're looking faint. You say, auntie, no, I'm no. I'm okay. Oh, you're carrying the thing on your head. Let me call Alabaru. No, auntie, when I'm here. How can you call Alabaru? I can carry load. <laughs> you are suffering for nothing. Be authentic. Know whose child you are. And when, know whose child you are. You are God's child. God's princess. You are God's child. As a man, you are God's child. You are God's child. It's not everything that you put in your body. They bring weed, you smoke. They bring cocaine, okay, you say, just try it once. Now, let's try it once. Now, now you sit and tell where you did today. I think you know. It's just once. Let's just try it once. You're a carrier of something. You carry the name of Jesus. If you understand that, guys, people will not intimidate you. What do they have? That life that they are living, do you think they're really enjoying it? Most of them are depressed. That's why they are drinking. That's why they are smoking. What did they decide? What did they decide? Alcohol is sweet. You know, sweet. That is not a lie. Beer is not sweet. Stout is not sweet. It's a lie. They just drink it to make themselves look cool. It's a lie. It's not sweet. You are smoking. You want to give yourself cancer. The first time you try to smoke, did you, all your chest and your throat did not prepare you. They will say, just keep at it. Instead of keeping a bad thing, why don't you keep at good thing? If you are keeping at good thing, you go, don't hammer by now. Be authentic. Don't be ashamed to say you are a Christian. That's the only way you can make it in this world. Because if you, if you are like this and like this, if you don't stand for anything, you will fall for everything. So make it very clear, I'm a Christian, I'm a child of God, don't be ashamed. Thankfully now, well, I don't know if it's thankfully, but it, when, I, when I got born again, we didn't have Bibles on our phones. And those days, you see girls, they will wrap Bible with, uh, <laughs> with newspaper and with calendar. Where are you going to? I'm just going down the road. Tell them you're going to church. Show them that it's Bible. People are ashamed to carry Bible because you don't want people to laugh at you. You must stand for something. Jesus said, if you're ashamed of me, me too. When he reach, when he day important. When my father asked me, do you know this guy? I say, me. I don't know him. So be authentic. If you come from a home where you don't have plenty of money, manage yourself. Manage yourself. It doesn't mean you will not have money tomorrow. You will have. 
Don't be following people with their papa. They use their papa. They use. Oh, are you upset? Okay, just come, come and go and charge your phone in the UK. You know. <laughs> Because I know people like that now, today. They are upset. They will just quickly, I'm, just, I'm upset, let me just go to Dubai and chill. It's got, money is pushing you. Money is pushing you. Because if you don't have money and you're upset, what do you do? You will stay inside your, yes. You will just drink very, yes. You will first shower. <laughs> and be drinking the pure water inside. You will suck it. You will be okay. So you that you don't have money, you now want to follow people. That when they are, they are upset or when there's no light, their father will say, oh my God, I'm sorry about the stress. The gen is not working this month. Okay, you guys go and do the weekend in the UK. You are following them. Be real to who you are. Be authentic. If your parents are in the village suffering, don't be in Lagos between big girl. doesn't make sense. The phone that you are carrying, you are carrying phone that can buy two cars and you are trekking. Be authentic. Be authentic. Your friends are buying hair. You know you cannot buy hair. Cut your hair and dye it. All is this style. Eh. You don't spend 300 k on hair. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't. Ankara is still cool. Yes, Ankara is fine. Though. Now you know just so fine style. Ankara is fine. <laughs> so the first thing is authenticity. Be real to who you are. The second thing. Be careful that this world does not influence you. Focus on the word influencing you. And I want to say it because you are a social media generation. What do you call yourselves now? Soros, okay, generation. Or coconut head. Is it coconut head? People are not coconut head. You are, uh, I thought you were coconut head generation. Be careful. Be careful of social media. Let me tell you, not everything on social media is true. I said this, um, this proverb series. And one of the proverbs I shared there is, now television gel of the quick don't pass. That thing you are seeing, eh, is Raz Matas. <laughs> I'm a pastor. It's just that, you see, because of my job, I can't say, there are some things I can't say. I can't tell you. There are some people that you are writing relationship goals. Eh? The man, they stay in another place. The woman, they stay in another place. They are not talking. They are not talking. They will just take a picture. The girl do. Why, 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 why do people do like Doc Ma? Why is that? What, what's the, po I'm trying to understand, because me, I don't, uh, maybe there's something I'm missing. Why do people do that thing? <laughs> what, why? They do what? That pouting, what's it? What does it do? Nothing. It has what? People should educate me, maybe I don't know. Maybe me, self, I'm slacking. Eh? He inspires it. <laughs> so it's not a monk. All these people that you're looking at on social media, most of them are living a fake life. You must understand that you are living for an audience of one. Only God matters. I'm telling you, the things you see on social media, forget to. <laughs> Some of those people that say they have one million followers, eh? They bought, apart from the, the, the 500 million that they bought, they bought followers. The second part is that they've opened many accounts and they're following themselves. And then they will put posts, and then they will use all those their fake accounts and comment on it. So you say they have engagement. You don't understand what's going on. Then you, you will now be tensioned. Be killing yourself that nobody's commenting on your post. Meanwhile, it's the same person that is the poster, the postee, and the posted. <laughs> be careful of what you see on social media. Social media is not the law. Social media is not the Lord. Because I see a lot of things. It's, and you know, unfortunately, we don't understand that media shapes culture. So it is what, the reason why you are dressed like this is what you've seen on the media. If not, uncle, you know that you'll be wearing uh, shokoto and, uh, and bead. You now put bead on one hand and wear this thing. And be bouncing about. And everybody say, oh, he's so cute. He's quit. <laughs> Girls will just be running after him. Hey. But you, you see that because we've seen Oibo people, they will not see their neck. Even if you can't breathe, you think it's stylish. Because it's what has, you know, that's what has shaped our culture. If you can't speak good English, does that mean you are not intelligent? No. But because we see that on social media, that you are, everybody, that people, people have not seen airports. If you hear the conk phone, you'll be wondering, as if, 
are you a, are you a citizen? Because the way they'll be talking, oh my God, so I, so, oh, I just went twice. So I'll not be like, ah. What is talk when now? <laughs> now me and this girl go for a good now. How is she all of a sudden? You'll be hearing different kinds of phone flying over your head. And then you, you know that you cannot speak. You now want to speak, you now bite your tongue. What, what's the problem? I'm telling you, social media is destroying a lot of people. Social media also has taught us disrespect. And I'm going to go there today. Because one of the things that Satan is doing is that he wants to kill this generation by taking away the one thing that God says you must do. He says, honor your father and your mother. That is the first commandment with a promise. So that it will be well with you and you will live long. Meaning if you don't honor your father and your mother, it will not be well with you. And you will not live long. So other people will not come. And when he says father and mother, he's not just talking about your biological parents. He's talking about that generation. He's talking about there's a generation before you. So you will see someone like Bishop Oedipo or someone like Daddy Gio. And because social media has removed, you know you can't write as pastor except the pastor is there. Except like me, now you can't abuse me, you can't remove the pastor because I put it inside my name. Because you want to be rude. So I want to help you not to be rude. So you now say, at David Oedipo. Because you can buy recharge card. No, it's not recharge card. What's they buy now, safe? I'm too old these days. Data. Because you can buy data of how much? How much is data? Cheapest data, how much? <laughs> eh? There's 59 data. That's the problem. That's the problem. Maybe you should have been born in a generation where SIM card was 30K. When I bought my SIM card, it was 30,000 naira. That's what's bringing this disrespect now. I will buy SIM. You will buy SIM. And me, I don't even know that I used to do 15 naira. So there's 15 naira on uh, Chisom. Now they buy, uh, uh, let me never say how much I spend on data. Let me not say it in public. That's why now. All of us now think we are mates. You will not be asking me anyhow. I'll be talking rubbish. And you are following this generation at cost. So let me give you an example. So when this whole NSAS movement was going on, at first I was quiet. I was watching. I was watching because I felt that like God was about to do something, but I was also scared that Satan was going to tamper with it. So instead of talking, I was quiet and I was praying. I was trying to pray. I was on my own, JJ. One of the people that bought 15 naira data now came into my DM. I know people are finished. Now that I know that there's 15 naira data. Now came into my DM. At Pastor Mildred. At Chris Oyakilome. At David Eripo. At Padre Emade. At Kingsley Pastor. At, now, I said a lot of pastors. Well, I don't know what the word is, but I said, I said a lot of pastors. I was like, you people would better speak up. You, what, you will not talk now. You think that you will preach. When they finish killing us, you will preach to yourselves. You, your churches will be empty. And so, something. I say, first of all, the church is not even my own. It's God's church. So I'm not even, I'm not even that headspace. Then secondly, what makes you think that I work for you? If the person who called me has not sent me to speak, and I say this all the time, the one who gave you a voice must give you a message. You can't just be talking anyhow. So because you are, and it's not every drum that they beat that you dance to. Just because you are beating drum, you think I will come and be dancing for you. That people are speaking, I should speak up now. I'm not going to do that until God tells me to. I'm not going to say a word. That's why I was watching. At first I didn't want to say anything. I was just watching. Then I now started hearing things like, our parents were cowards. One girl actually had black power card. I thought, say, no, I'm mama and papa go don't die. There's no way. The way she abused them that day, because when she was saying our parents, I believe it's her own mother and father she was abusing. Because you know? I know follow Bonham, so I know it's not talking to me. Say that they were cowards. And this is the generation that is doing what they could not do. This is the generation. And she was shouting and ranting and raving. And I, and I told the, the, the young people that work with me, and I said to them, I said, I said to, especially to Chisom, I was telling Chisom, my assistant, I said, Chisom, my problem with this thing is that when somebody is doing something for the first time, they feel like nobody else has ever tried to do that thing. If now protest, eh? The generation before us and the generation before them have done protest. Many of these people who are in power today 
that are causing problems were forefront of that protest. And that protest was done when people were in military regime. Not be now, where we now get social media, we now open mouth. That thing that happened at the toll gate, I knew it would happen. I told you some. I said they would just open fire, nothing. They would clear out, nothing. They are waiting, they are waiting. I knew it would happen. I knew like I knew my name. But I kept praying. I kept saying, God, they, these people cannot do this thing. But they were too busy being full of, full of yourselves. I'm going to put it that way. This generation became cocky. I kept telling Pastor K, Kai, they're becoming cocky. They're missing it. God wants to do something, but they're missing it. They're just, just a little bit now they will miss it. And that's exactly what happened. What our parents, you move the fight from answers to abusing your parents. Satan was working. And I say it, and I will say it till Jesus comes. The person you are playing with is not playing with you. That's the mistake you are making. You are treating Satan like he's a nuisance. He's just annoying me. No. Do you know who can tell me the difference between a nuisance and an, an enemy? If somebody's a nuisance and somebody's an enemy, who can tell me the difference? Someone should just help me. If somebody's a nuisance to you and somebody's an enemy, what's the difference? He's just, a nuisance is just trying to annoy you, just upset you. You frown here, grumble small. But an enemy is out to destroy you. Satan was not just trying to be annoying. Satan wanted to put an end to something big that was about to break in this nation. And that's exactly what Satan knew. That for once, the people is one. For once. Have you ever seen young Nigerians come out together as one? He said, for once, the people is one. And he said, the thing they imagined to do, they will achieve it all. But we have to spoil it somehow. Then Satan said, let them start abusing their parents so that it will not be well with them and so that they will not live long. Do you see what happened? So we were carrying placard. Buari has met the generation. This is the generation that are not cowards. Our parents were cowards. They started abusing their fathers and their mothers. They forgot that who would win this victory was God. And God had given instruction. Honor your father and your mother. This was not a battle for this generation. It was a battle for all generations. Let me tell you what happens. Young people, if you want to win, you must be accountable. You must have a head over your head. Even Jesus Christ, the Bible says his head is what? God. So you, how do you think you can succeed without being accountable to someone? You must be submitted if you're going to succeed in life. You must have someone that you look up to. Someone that, that if they say, ah, I'm going to report you to that person, you go shake. Ask Pastor K, is Pastor K like that? If I just pick up my phone, who are you talking to, Rev? What happened? <laughs> I said, I want to report you. What did I do? I said, I'm joking. So, okay. I said, you will see the fear of God enter the man of God. <laughs> so you, who are you? And this thing started on social media. Even people who were okay, they were normal, where they were coming from home. When they were coming, they got there and started talking rubbish. Some people were even carrying placard. Workers in church. Pastors, they are killing your... Are you, are you, are you all right? Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Is it every drum that they beat that you dance? Is it every time they beat drum that your body will move? Can you not compose yourself? I say, no, be me that they play that one for, I don't go dance. So Satan infiltrated. I was, I was hard. I was heartbroken and I was crying the day I was praying. Not because of even what had happened. I was crying because this thing could have been avoided. I was crying because they, they started believing. At some point, they started saying, enough prayer. Why are we praying? I said, this is the beginning of the end. When you start to despise the very thing, even the America that we want to go and meet, what was that nation built on? Prayer. Till tomorrow, they call themselves one nation under God. So how do you get to the stage where you now feel that it is your singing, your gyrating, and your organization? Oh, if you see their soon, and I, told, I said they are getting distracted. We are going to go and protest. You are going to eat our soon. Some people are collecting three plates. I said, is it not the same thing that spoiled Nigeria? Greed. Be careful of what you see on social media. Don't follow everything you see. There's one, there was one girl that, has, that was shouting feminism, 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 wanting, wanting. I can't take rubbish from a man. I can't take no nonsense from... He goes, see, send Pastor K DM. 
My husband is giving me a problem. Please, how do I handle it? I said, but you will come outside and tell young girls not to take rubbish. But you are asking how to take rubbish. Now, Pascal, then they tell that if not me, I will publish that chat. Because you are leading people astray. Forget all these things. So, feminism may work in your office. It does not work in marriage. Oh. Hansies, are you hearing me? Are you hearing me, ladies? Feminism can work in your office. You can find that uh, they are paying me. Me and this man were working. They are paying. It does not work in marriage. Except you want to be married. If you want to be married, forget it. There's a head in your home. I'm telling you. And you must submit. So if you choose him, submit. So those ones that they say, feminist, feminist, we can, we are, we are ladies, we are something, something, something. I'm just, I'm just laughing. I'm laughing where I am. Because the amount of people that they are, the things you are seeing on social media, they are lies. They are lies. You must be able to filter what is true, what is truth, and what is a lie. So don't let the world frame you. Make sure the word, you must remember who you are and who you are. And you must also know what frames your life. Bible, I think it's, um, some, give me Psalm 119 verse 9. Because I have, and, and I, want to, I, want to, I want you to understand that. I'm not just saying some of these things because I just want to talk. I'm saying it because this is what has helped my life. As you see me like this saying, I am very submitted to my pastor. I'm submitted to Pastor K, but I'm also submitted to Reverend Femi. When people, know, people want me to do something, they go and report me to Rev. As my head is hot like this. If Rev just called my daughter, I say, oh God, what's all this? In my mind, I'll be grumbling, but fear no, let me bring her mouth from my mouth. You must be submitted. I'm teaching you the things that work for me. The word works. Forget what people are doing. Be true to yourself and be true to God. That's what works. Psalm 119 says, how can a young person live a clean life? By carefully reading the map of your word. I'm telling you that put, looking into the word eh, can map out your entire life. And I'm so passionate about the word of God because that, was, that is what has brought me here today. Everything I have ever gotten in my life, I go by the word. I have never failed an exam in my life. Do you know why? Let me tell you why. I've never failed an exam in my entire life as I am like this. It has never happened to me. That people will say, well, I jam, jam, jam. I, I don't even know that thing. I passed jump in SS2. I didn't go because my father said, no, let her stay. Because I, didn't, I left from primary five. So he didn't want me to leave from primary five. Now, cut short again. So he wanted me to do that six years that I... That's the only reason why I didn't enter from. I passed. Why heck? I passed GCE for the fun of it. Then I passed. I've never filled an exam. What happened? I saw a scripture that said, let this mind that be in Christ, let it be in you. It was talking about another thing. It was talking about humility. But that scripture jumped at me. That the mind that is in Christ, let it be in me. Meaning that I have the mind of Christ. And I asked myself, if Jesus were to write an exam, would he fail? I say, what? The mind that Jesus used to operate is in me. I can never fail an exam in my life. And I walked with that consciousness. Then, I now made the mistake of seeing the scripture that says that I have more understanding than my teachers. Aha! I say my lecturers are finished. Finished. If you went to a you know sports center, I will go to sports center and I will call in my lecturers' names. I have more understanding than you, Okola. Who is this mountain before Mildred? You will be made plain ground. I started it and I will finish it without carryover. And I will finish it with the shouts of grace. 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 I was, see, the word is, is something you can apply. I need to challenge you. See, forget all this. We are, we are jumping. We are, mm -mm. It is in the working of the word. Every time, young people like spectacular things. When you see people that say, oh, prayer for something, miracle prayer for something, you will see crowd there. If you see, come, come and hear the teaching of the word, how you can apply it and begin to work miracles. They don't want that one. No. They want so much you pray for. Pray for me. Ma. I'm not a prayer contractor. That's why a lot of people are being scammed today. They will put Pastor Mildred Prayer Ministries. Beloved, I see a bright future before you. But there's something and give over your destiny. Give to this orphanage. They will give. Then they will not come and call me. And send me DM, ma. You have not heard from you again. I say you didn't hear from me before. What's going on? Those people are making money because people don't want to sit down and walk the word. Sit down and walk the word. It works.